peace, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing my July TBR. I have a couple books that I need to read for review and then I have a couple rereads that I would like to get to this month and then on top of that I have a couple books that I would like to read for pleasure but if I don't get to those books then I'm not going to be too mad but I figured that each month I would like to start including at least one or two books that I want to read for pleasure so that I can start getting to books that have been on my shelf for a ridiculous amount of time. So first I'm going to talk about the books that I'm reading because I need to review them and then I will talk about my rereads. So the first book that I will be reading in the month of July, well, I shouldn't say it's the first book that I'm going to read since I am a mood reader. Um, it's more like the first book I'm going to talk about that's on my TBR is A Daring Venture by Elizabeth Camden. I still do not have it in paperback. I talked about it in June. It was on my June TBR, but I didn't receive it. It should be here in the next couple days, I believe. It is a gorgeous cover, and I'm very excited to read it. The next book on my TBR is another one that I do not have in paperback yet, and that is Dead Drift by Danny Petrie. I should have had it a couple weeks ago, um, but again, it happens, shipping happens, and shipping issues happen. So I am still waiting for that, and I cannot wait to dive into it. Please don't forget to enter the giveaway that I posted on Tuesday um, for that book that I am doing with Just Reads. It's very, very exciting. So there's those two. And then I have an e-book that I have to read, and that is Never Envy an Earl by Regina Scott. This is the third book in her Fortune Bride series, and I am so, so excited. We met the main character of this book in book two, and I'm very excited to see what kind of mischief she gets into. It's going to be a while before the next book comes out, but I'm still very, very excited for this entire series. I'm loving it. Those are three of the books that I have to review and those are books that I do not have in paperback but then I have a couple other books that I have to review that I do have in paperback. The first one is The Solace of Water by Elizabeth Byer Yant and this is a women's fiction I believe and it's very outside of my reading genre. It is probably going to be a book that I have two going, I'll have two going at the same time just because I think this one is a little deeper and I'll want to have a light read on top of it, if that makes sense. But I'm very, very excited to read this this month. The next book is The Hope of Azure Springs by Rachel Fordham. This re released on Tuesday, and I'm so, so happy for Rachel. Um, I am very, very excited to read this book. She has amazing reviews so far on Goodreads and Amazon, and I'm just very, very excited to read it in paperback. The last book that I have to read for review this month, or at least I'm going to try my absolute hardest to get to, is The More in the Maiden by Hannah Joy Wilkinson. And I've had this book for a couple months sitting on my TBR, but I've gotten ridiculously busy with other things, and that's no excuse. But um, also, I have to be in the mood for this time period, and I have to be in the mood for this type of book. And I read the story peddler in June and now I'm like in um YA but I don't even think this is technically YA but I'm in like a medieval different world imagination kind of mood so I'm very very excited to read this this month the next two books I'm going to talk about are my rereads that I would like to try for the month of July I have been in a reread mood and I have been in this these authors mood and I'm sure you can guess who they're by but whatever. So I will be reading Short Straw Bride by Karen Whitmire. Is it Whitmire or Whitmire? I still can't. I should really probably listen to her introduce herself so that I can start saying this correctly. Um, but anyways, I've been really wanting to reread this lately, and especially with her recent release of More Than Meets the Eye, where we meet another patchwork family, I really want to dive back into the Archer Brothers. <sighs> Travis Archer. I love this book. I've reread it multiple times, but I'm just in the mood to reread it, so I will be rereading this one 
Then the next book that I would like to reread is actually a series, but I would like to at least get to the first book in the series this month, and that is After Fashion by Jen Toronto. And this is book one in her Class of Their Own series with um, In Good Company and Playing the Part as book two and three. And Jen has a book coming out in August called Caught by Surprise, and that is the last book in her Behind the Scenes series, and I'm very, very excited for that. But I'm in the mood to visit these lovely hilarious ladies all over again so I'm definitely going to be at least trying to pick up after a fashion this month we'll see if I get to books two and three and the last couple books are going to be tentatives I'm going to try to get to these in the month of July and they're just pleasure reads and first I have Loving Grace by April Smith and I'm not sure when this releases but it looks really cute. It is a YA contemporary and just looks like a cute summer read. And like, it has watermelons on the spine. I don't like watermelon, personally, but I mean, the idea of it in summer is great. So I would like to try to at least start this book in July. And next is a book and a series that I have been needing to get to for the absolute longest time and that is The Healer's Apprentice by Melanie Dickerson or also known as the Hagenheim series as a whole. I really 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 need to read them and The Orphan's Wish just came out and I can't read it because they tell you to read the series in order and the first one in the series is The Healer's Apprentice, and this is a retelling of Sleeping Beauty. It seems pretty quick, and I feel like once I get into it, I'll blow through it. So this is probably going to be like a light read that I like throw in somewhere. The last book on my TBR, I was blessed to be sent by the author. She is so very sweet. And that is The Girl Who Could See by Kara Swanson. And I've heard amazing things about this book. I've heard amazing things about this author. Every once in a while we'll talk and chat. And she's so sweet. I absolutely love her. And the premise of this story is so great. This is another YA. It's like imaginative fantasy? Or just fantasy? Somebody help a girl out. If you've read this book and you know what it is marketed as or what subgenre it is in, please let me know, but it seems very interesting, but I do know that it is YA. Total, I have 11 books on my July TBR. Of six of those, I have to get to this month, and then five of them are just kind of on there, and if I get to them, amazing. If I don't, then, and I mean, that's okay, but I would like to try to get to them. Uh, June and July have been really, really ambitious months for me, but I did really good in June so here's to doing really good in July we'll see so I'm very very excited to try and get to all of these and I can't wait to very excited to give you my thoughts on the books that I have to review on my blog and also all of my thoughts on the Goodreads I hope you guys enjoyed today's video let me know in the comments below if you've read any of these books or if they're on your July TBR and how many books are on your July TBR I would love to know you can follow my blog for the love of Christian fiction blogspot.com and you can also check out my Instagram which is for the love of Christian fiction all my other links are in the description box below and I think that's it I'll see you guys next week bye but tentative. Reach for the stars even if you miss. Oh no, that's not the same. It's reach for the moon even if you miss. You'll land amongst the stars or something like that. Anyways, I totally did not just embarrass myself on camera.